Hi team, it's Brent here from Noble Samurai and I want to show you my favorite places to get niche ideas. The first one that I want to show you is Google's search based keyword tool and that is at google.com forward slash sk tool. Now what you need to do when you get to the search based keyword tool is scroll down to the bottom and look for this see top keywords across all categories button and then give that a click. And that will take you to this category area where you can search for ideas based on categories. So say you're uh, into family and community, you can give that a click. Uh, baby parenting and family resources, give that a click. Baby items, baby bath time items. And here we go, we've got a whole heap of different items or different uh, ideas for niches that relate to this market here, this niche, this baby bath time items niche. We can also go into, say, if you're interested in health, you can go into, I don't know, nutrition and dieting, diabetic diet, celiacs. There's also a whole bunch of uh, foreign language keywords if you're going into a foreign language market. The reason that I like this tool so much is that everything is categorized. So you find something that you're interested in, give it a click, and keep on poking down into the subcategories until you find something that interests you. Now the second niche idea tool that I like is the Google product search page. The reason that I like this is it shows you some of the recent items that people have been looking for using Google product search. And we see them here and there are 25 of them I think on, on the page. 25 doesn't sound like a lot of ideas, but what you can do is you can refresh the page and each time you refresh, it'll come up with another 25 ideas. And this is an absolute gold mine for niche ideas. Have a look at this. We've got scrapbook paper, lip gloss, gas masks, disposable cameras, climbing gear, coffee machines, you get a really good insight into some of the niches that people are interested in. And each time we refresh, of course, wedding bands, hand mixers, drum kits, camera tripods, we get a really interesting insight into what people are buying online. And that's really important because this tool here actually gives us an insight into things that people are buying. So that if we're looking to set up a website that is, you know, going to sell something online, these are things that people are actually searching to buy. Another tool that I really like because it tells you what people are buying online is eBay Pulse. And this is at pulse.ebay.com. eBay Pulse, uh, just like Google product search, uh, allows you to find what people are interested in buying. But it also categorizes everything into these handy categories. So if you're interested in computers or networking, you can give that a click. That'll just load and that tells us a whole heap of things that people are searching for that relate to computers and networking. And we can give the category a button a, button a click. And if you're like Ed Dale, you're interested in computers, a Apple computers and components, give that a click. And we'll see what the uh, most popular Apple related computers and compo components are. We've got MacBook, iMac, Mac Mini, Mac Pro, PowerBook, so on and so forth. So this can help you with um, some niche ideas. And if we, let's go back to something more generic here. Here we go, let's say that we're interested in crafts. Give that a click. Stampin' Up, beads. Uh, let's say that we're interested in uh, glass and mosaics. I walked past a mosaic place today. Also a good place to find um, niche ideas just by walking around. Stained glass, mosaic, mosaic titles, uh, tiles, sea glass. So there's you know, a whole heap of ideas for niches in here as well. The final place that I really like for niche ideas is Amazon.com and specifically in Amazon.com, the magazine section. Because there are such, uh, there's such an amazing number of magazines in here. Let's say that I was interested in automotive and you go, how many car magazines, how many car niche magazines could there possibly be out there? But if you have a look, Electric and Hybrid is an example. You've got magazines out there 
targeting electric and hybrid cars. And obviously if there's a magazine that exists about electric and hybrid cars, there's enough of a market out there around electric and hybrid, hybrid cars that, you know, there's potentially a whole bunch of people that are searching for them online. And maybe there's something that we can sell to them online that's related to electric and hybrid cars that uh, we can, you know, make money out of a website out of. So um, this is one of my favorite places to find niche ideas. So just to recap, we've got the Google search-based keyword tool, Google product search, eBay Pulse, and Amazon's magazine uh, area. Hopefully this gives you a few places that you can use to look for niches inside the 30-day challenge.